go back and forth like Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kaylin and on this channel we focus mainly on eating disorder recovery. So I make videos such as what I eat in a week and videos about body positivity and intuitive eating. And today we are going to be doing a closet purge. Oh, this is... It's a stressful video, but it's also fun. And I wanna show you guys that it's perfectly okay to outgrow clothes. There are so many clothes in that closet behind me that just don't fit anymore. And they deserve a new home, one that I can't provide for them. And you also are gonna feel more confident in clothes that fit. And there's nothing wrong with cycling through sizes. The size of your clothes means absolutely nothing. It really means absolutely nothing it's just a number so it doesn't matter what size you are and through this video I also want to show that I have so many different sizes in that closet like the sweatpants that I'm wearing right now those are a large uh, this shirt is a small I'm gonna go through my pant sizes my dress sizes just to show you guys that size is a number that's it. It holds nothing else. It's, it doesn't reflect your worth. It doesn't reflect who you are as a person. And I just want to show that it's okay to go through your clothes. Get rid of the ones that don't fit. Don't hold on to your skinny clothes or don't try to shrink yourself to fit into those clothes that used to fit because clothes are meant to fit you. You are not meant to fit clothes. So let's just begin i'm going to show you guys the state of my closet which i did not clean before this video i i'm sorry but we're real on this channel and also i'm going to go through my drawers my tops my bathing suits and things like that let's get started with the video let me show you my closet all right guys so i know there's a lot going on in here it's embarrassing um I've got a lot of sweaters, a lot of shawls, a lot of dresses, but this is my side over there. It is the much more bare hubby side, but all right. Now for the drawers, which are ungodly. I'm sorry if you're like a very organized person and that this is gonna trigger you, but my drawers are messy. I'm kind of, I'm a very organized person in a lot of ways, but when it comes to my clothes, I, all right, let's show you guys the drawers. So this first drawer is bathing suits and underwear and body suits and socks and things like that. And these next drawers don't really have an order to them. So this is like gym clothes and leggings and crop tops. And then these are jeans and tank tops and shirts and things like that. So to begin the video, I. I think I'm gonna try to section it out. So we are gonna try on all of the dresses that I have in my closet. And we're gonna get rid of the ones that just don't make me feel confident, that don't fit anymore. And I'm gonna keep the ones that just make me feel bomb and good, okay? So let's just grab those dresses. All right, I honestly never realized how many dresses I had until I took them all out. And I don't wear half of these i probably wear like six of them so the ones that i know fit i might not try on um but the ones that i haven't tried for a really long time i will because i have to make that decision whether to purge them or whether uh, you know like give them away to a pal or to a thrift shop or something like that or to keep them because they make me feel good all right so this first dress is a medium and i really think that it's cute it's like a midi dress and it's from Old Navy and it makes me feel super confident, super cute. I think that it accentuates the boobs in a really nice way. So this one, I am definitely gonna keep. Um, yeah, this, it doesn't fit. It definitely will not zip up, like not even close. Um, I, I like the color. It's pretty. It hugs me way too tight. And this is gonna be, it's gonna be a big no because it does not fit. And I know that someone else can give this dress a much better life. Not only does it not zip up, but these arms, 
I find are like suffocating. So let's move on because it's going to be a no. It's going to be a big fat no. All right. I put on this crop top just to show you guys how this dress doesn't even go over my butt or my hips or anything. It literally stops <laughs> right here and I and I can't pull it pull it any higher. Yeah, it used to fit, but it doesn't now. And that's okay. So let's move on to the next dress. So this baby pink number is next. This is in a size small. Um, and it fits, but it doesn't fit me in the most comfortable or flattering way so i think i'm gonna say goodbye to this dress even though i used to get plenty of wear from it it's just not making me feel amazing um and it's not because i don't love my body it's because it's hugging me a little bit tight in certain places so sometimes you just have to say goodbye to pieces even if they used to mean something you know it's they'll find a life they'll make a life somewhere else Next we have a strapless romper and this I believe is a medium. Um, it has this knot. So this romper fits, it's loose. Honestly though, it's not that comfortable. I think Fashion Nova sent this to me, I don't know, like over a year ago. But I still think that it's cute. I still think that it could be a fun little date night piece. So I'm going to keep this one. So this dress I actually thrifted over two years ago and I still love it. It has this cute blue lace detailing at the top. It's kind of like a funky dress. There's a lot going on. Very pretty blues. But yeah, I really like it. So we're going to keep her. You guys, I'm so hot and sweaty from just changing into clothing after clothing. But this is a medium from Shein. And I really like the dress. I think it flows. It has a nice slit at the leg. But <laughs> these arms are so tight. It's like an elastic band just constricting my arm. And it's so uncomfortable. So even though it's cute, it's going to be a no. All right. The hair has gone up. It's so hot. Um, another strapless dress. I used to wear this one all the time. It just. I mean, it can probably go up, but not comfortably. Sorry, I feel like, I feel like I'm naked. Um, but it's gonna be a no. So this is the next dress. Um, it's from Forever 21. It's a size medium and it doesn't fit. So far we have a couple of mediums and smalls that fit, but this one just, it doesn't, so I'm not gonna force it to go up. Um, I'm gonna try to show you guys this last inch or so. And if I'm being honest, it just doesn't make me feel that good. So, we're gonna donate her. So this is another dress from Forever 21 and it's in a size medium. I'm sorry, Tabasco went on his walk and he's very panty, but he's my baby. Oops, I just grabbed your mouth. Um, so this is what the dress looks like. It hugs me a little bit near the tummy, but I like it. We're not insecure about our tummies on this channel. Hey Tabasco, we love all tummies. Yeah, we do. Um, so this one I'm definitely gonna keep. I really like the color. Um, I think that it's very complimentary. Um, so this one is definitely a yes. This video just shows me progressively getting warmer and warmer by my hairstyles. So welcome to my life. <laughs> this is a baby doll dress from Forever 21. I feel like the lighting here is getting a little bit iffy. Hold on. Welcome to the disaster that is my life. All right, so this baby doll dress is from Forever 21. It's a little bit tight on the tetas, um, but it flares out. I think that it's actually pretty cute. I thought that this was gonna fit a lot worse than it does, um, but I, I'm not mad. I think that is cute. I'm feeling myself, girls, come on. Life's too short to not be your mother effing best friend, okay? People come and go, relationships, friends, even family, okay? But you, 
you are forever so you have to be your best fucking friend and your hype woman okay get those people who make you feel like crap out of your life off your timeline get rid of them be your own best friend life is too short sound good okay um, but I think I'm actually gonna keep this honestly I was so sure that I was gonna get rid of it and I'm I'm loving it all right Let's move on to the next dress. By the way, you guys, I just wanna quickly apologize that the reason I'm not showing myself like change into these dresses is because clearly I'm not wearing a bra and like my tatas are gonna be flying everywhere and you don't wanna see that. So we're just gonna, you know, do the cuts, okay? So this next dress, also medium from Forever 21. And boy, I think I look cute, okay? It has a little like off the shoulder thing here, accentuates the boobs in a nice way, I find. Maybe you won't, but that's okay, you do you. Um, and it's kind of like a fit and flare dress, which is cute. Um, it still, you know, hugs that tummy a little bit, but we're okay with that because there is nothing wrong with a little bit of tummy. Everybody has one. This little part here, you know, hold on. This part here, it protects your future baby. So don't try to get rid of it. Don't go on those fads. Keep doing you, okay? Keep on your intuitive eating journey. I have a whole video on intuitive eating. If you haven't seen it, I will link it in the description and in a card right here. So let's try on this next dress because I like this one. We're gonna keep her. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, I think that she fits. I think her material is a little bit itchy. This is from Winners. It is a size medium, but I don't think I'm gonna keep it because even though it fits, I want clothes that make me just feel so good. And this just makes me feel okay. You know what? Like maybe I'll put it in a maybe pile. Maybe I'll hold on to it just for a little bit. I don't know if it's super cute. So kind of on the fence. Let me know. Do you guys, do you guys like this one? Should I give her a new home? I don't know. Let me know. <laughs> but let's move on to the next dress. You guys, I am so red. This is, I'm so hot. And I work out. I work out every day. But this is like some other Olympian crap, okay? Um, this dress was used to be one of my favorites, but it just doesn't fit like the tatas anymore. <laughs> I don't know, like they are being suffocated. They're being pushed. And I, I don't like that feeling. I mean, I could wear the dress like this, but I feel like, one of my nips might come out, so we're not going to do that. <laughs> um, yeah, so even though it's a cute dress, gotta say goodbye sometimes, you know? My face matches this dress. This is a dress that I actually wore to a wedding, I think two years ago or something. Um, and it was so pretty, I really loved it, but it just doesn't fit. This is a size small and it's from a store, I think it's called 1871. 1971 whatever it is i'll put it on the screen but it just does not fit so we're gonna say goodbye to her and pick up a new babe <laughs> so this is a very similar baby doll dress to that bluish purplish one that i tried on with those white flowers from forever 21 this is also a medium i find that it's a little bit tighter than the other one i don't know what do you I don't like this one. It's weird because it's probably the exact same dress in a different color and it fits differently. This is why sizing just doesn't matter. If I was at the store right now, I would get a large because there's nothing wrong with that. It's just a size. Um, so I love the color. I like the flowiness, but the pressure on my boobs is too much. So we're gonna have to move on. So we're moving on to another yellow number. This one is from Old Navy and it's a size medium and I love it. The fit is so much better than that other baby doll yellow dress. This one's a fit and flare. It's cute. It's not squeezing me in any place that's uncomfortable, which is what I'm looking for in a dress. I don't want to be uncomfortable. There's no point in trying to squeeze into a smaller size because you're just going to be uncomfortable. Get the bigger size. It doesn't matter what size it is. Okay? Sounds good. Um, so, I love it. I think that this one is cute. So, we're going to keep it. 
I love it. So this is a dress from Shein. It's a size medium and I can't lift my armpits here because it's so tight in the armpit. This is ridiculous. Ooh, it's gonna be a solid no. It's so nice, so flowy. Maybe I'll try to cut the sleeves. Maybe I'll do a little DIY. It's such a cute dress, you know? But I love the pattern. I love the flowiness. Can't handle these little chicken arms though. So this jumpsuit is from Fashion Nova. It's completely um, open back. Shows a lot of side boob. And it's cute. It's cute. Um, but I think it's a little too tight on my tummy area. Let me, you know, like I feel like if I were to sit in this, it would be a little bit too uncomfortable. I don't know though. Like I'm, I'm on the fence because it's cute. It just sits a little bit iffy here this is the mess behind me as you can tell um honestly because i don't love it it's gonna go get a new home so yeah unfortunately hopefully this brings joy to somebody else so this cherry red number was actually something that i thrifted as well it's another fit and flare dress and it's cute but similar to that romper that I was just talking about is that it just doesn't make me feel amazing. It's not really my style. Not that I really have a style. I don't, I don't know if I do. I'm not a very stylish person, but I think that this one is gonna have to go. This dress is from Old Navy. It's a similar style to that yellow dress that I tried on and I really love it. It fits really, really nicely. It's not tight and I'm comfortable, so. We're gonna keep this one for sure. All right, time for honesty. I've had this dress since I was like 11 years old. It's actually my sister's. We're around that age, maybe 12, 13. <laughs> it's an extra small from Old Navy. And as you can see, it clearly doesn't fit. These arms are whew, gonna pop off. So gotta say goodbye, but it was definitely cute while it lasted. Yeah, you can really see it pinch me, even just in my shoulder. It's pushing so hard, it's not worth it. This dress is identical to the yellow one from Old Navy. It's also size medium. It's just in a different pattern and color. So this is a blue one with these little spaghetti straps, which are quite cute. And it's another fit and flare. And I really like it. I think that it looks very cute, so we're gonna keep this one. All right, we're getting down to the last three dresses, and I'm so hot. This is a black and gold dress that I used to wear all the time when I waitressed, which was like two or three years ago, um, or to, to funerals. So it fits, it still zips up, but I don't know if I like it. I think it reminds me too much of those days when I worked as a waitress, when people were rude. So I'm gonna say goodbye, not because it doesn't fit, but because of the memories <laughs> that I have associated with it. Um, so this is a burgundy dress that I've had, I think since high school. It's also from Forever 21, but in a size small. If you haven't seen by now, sizing is pretty construed. It's literally just a number and means means nothing like just a number or a letter or whatever it is but I'm not mad about it I think that it's actually kind of cute um, another thing though is that the shoulders are a little bit too tight for my liking so I think we're gonna get rid of this one send it to either donate it or give it to my sister or friend so not a fan and this is the last dress it is a maxi dress so it does go all the way to the bottom which is a little bit hard for you guys to see i think that this dress is super appropriate for um like pride month because of all of the rainbow colors it's kind of cute but with that being said it's a little bit 
a little bit tight. Kind of on the fence because I really like how it looks. And if I could get in one size bigger than I would. Oh, I didn't realize that the straps are adjustable. That probably will help a little bit. But I think I want to keep this one because of how cute it looks. This is the damage. This is everything that's going to be donated or given away. These are the dresses that I'm going to be keeping and they range from small to medium to large. So there's that. And these are the ones that I just wasn't sure about. Like this, I can potentially cut off the sleeves or try to turn it into something else, a little DIY or something like that. But this is the purge for today. So I was looking at the clips that I got and this video is already going to be so freaking long, which is completely fine. Um, so I think that for today, we're just going to stick with dresses. And if you do want to see a part two or part three of this video, comment down below, send me a DM. If you like videos like this, please feel free to subscribe and join our small family and turn on post notifications. And I post videos every single Saturday. So I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much. And I hope that you understood from this video that it's okay to cycle through clothing sizes, that it's okay to go up or go down in sizes. And sizing is literally the dumbest thing ever. You don't have to stress about it. Just wear what fits and wear what makes you feel good because in the end, that's the most important thing. You have to feel good in your clothing because the more you feel good the more confident you're going to be and your confidence doesn't come from the number or the size that you're wearing it comes from within so you gotta nurture it you gotta let it grow and yeah thank you guys again so much for watching and like i said i'll see you guys in my next video bye